the Herb Boy. Amsterdam News. All right. The damn news. <laughs> you can edit that out, can't you? <laughs> no, so this your, is, uh, yeah, this is a very on great this. moment out here, Jazz. I mean, having this kind of a turnout in terms of the information sharing, uh, our, social, our form of social networking. <laughs> Let's get the people out here. And they need to get the message here in terms of what's happening with the general strife and turmoil on the continent. The whole uh, recolonization process that's been in effect since 1884-85 when you had the, the initial div divvying up of the, of the continent by the European powers. So it continues unabated. The kind of neo-colonialism that set in for a number of years, but we find now, particularly like in Libya, in Somalia, millions of people in Somalia on a, on a move toward Mogadishu just to find something to eat. You look at the Congo situation, which they virtually have ignored, and the strife continues there. What do you see as the root cause in, in Somalia? In Somalia, well, you know, you have the general kind of situations that have been going on in Somalia for years, you know, in terms of the disunity. You know, what you have is like uh, a form of uh, tribal division, uh, ethnic uh, rivalry, ethnic cleansing. Those things continue. I mean, it's hard to kind of pinpoint any one thing in any one of these countries because it's a, and it's an amalgam, of, an ensemble of factors that penetrate and are part and parcel of uh, imperialistic practice. You know, how Jules sees on both sides of the street, see Jules Ella. You know. so what, what happens is, though, is that what needs to be done here? I mean, we can be certainly conscious of what's happening all over the world, but realizing that, as one of our great politicians said once, uh, once upon a time, is that all politics is local. local. And, but we struggle where we are, because we see the interpenetration, the connection between domestic and, uh, and international and global affairs. You almost have to have a geopolitical analysis to understand exactly what's going on in the world today. And I think this helps, because more and more people get informed, it begins to intensify, you know, the nature of our information sharing. Because so many people here, they're not aware of what's going on in Africa. You know, because the media, our particular uh, mainstream media, is just absolutely deficient. You know, it has no uh, understanding of the necessity of having that kind of information, you know, on the ground. So we have to bring it on the ground here, and I think this is one way to do it. Having Minister Farrakhan come in and a number of other activists that we know in this community who've been on the ramparts for years, and we should not ignore or the contribution that they've made. As I walk around today, I'm, I'm getting the feeling of Harlem in the 50s and 60s, uh, when the soapboxes was out on 125th Street and Malcolm and... I know nothing about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An age ducker here. You're right, right. No, no, you're absolutely correct yeah. to see this. And, and that's part of it, uh, because we have to have a kind of an intergenerational dialogue. It's good to see so many young people out here. Yeah. Usually when I go to these things, I know everybody there. Yeah. But here you see so many different faces, younger faces, and we need to have them on the ramparts with us. they got to be a part of that generation that picks it up. As Franz Fanon said that you know, each generation out of relative obscurity is either has to fulfill or betray its mission. So they have to understand that they do have a mission, an obligation, and we have to understand how to pass the baton on to them. That's why I think the intergenerational dialogue, that's a part of the people on the stage up there, is absolutely critical as we continue to struggle. A luta continua. <laughs> yeah, la luta continua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard, man, it's always a pleasure to talk to it's you. It's good to and, be uh, with you, too. I'm always yes. guaranteed that I'm going to get some kind of insight. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, we're having an event at Riverside Church on uh, uh, September 9th. Yeah, I got one of the... Yeah, to commemorate the 40th anniversary. Sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that we see you there. Yeah. And, I uh, hope I have the, uh, yeah. the opportunity to share some moments with you there. Yeah. It would be a pleasure. It would be a pleasure. Thank All you, right. baby. Thank, Thank you, baby. you my brother. Okay.